In this video I will show you how to download MT4 time frame indicator which you can use with the shortcuts on your keyboard so you can change easily between time frames on your MT4 just simply by clicking 1 to 9 keys on your keyboard. First, as a first step is to download MT4 time frame shortcut indicator and to download MT4 time frame you can visit Get Neo Trading website and click the blue button on this blog post. When you click the download MT4 time frame shortcut indicator, you will be forwarded to download this indicator on your PC. After you have downloaded this indicator to the PC, you need to save that indicator somewhere where you can find it later on because you will need to copy this file into folder of MT4. So I will not do this step, you can click this button and follow process to download this indicator on your PC. Before we continue further, I would like to mention that in the description below this video, you have a link where you can download free PDFs of the workshop. You can download free PDFs about what is PIP, what is leverage, what is margin and what is lot size. So you can start easily by checking the samples I have prepared for you so you can start trading on the forex market. Now when you have downloaded MT4 time frame shortcut indicator on your PC, you need to open MetaTrader 4 installation folder. And to do that, the simplest way is to open MT4 application and go to the file and click the open data folder. When you click this button, you will open installation folder of the MT4 and you will see these folders like I have right now. Here you need to locate an MQL4 folder and open it. Then you need to find indicators folder where all indicators are installed on this MT4 platform. Click on it and you, will list, and you will see all the list of indicators that are currently in this MT4 platform. Here you need to paste copied indicator that you have currently downloaded. You will see it here when you copy it. And then when you see this indicator in this list, in this folder, the next step is to open again the MT4. If you already have this MT4 open, you need first to restart this application by closing it, closing this application and then open again. Because this restarting application will pull up all indicators that are currently in the folder and that means the MT4 application will put this new indicator in the list of all indicators that are currently available in the MT4. Now you can see this indicator here in the list of all indicators inside this navigator window. Now to activate this indicator you need to drag and drop this indicator to the chart and I will do that by clicking the left mouse button and then move this indicator to the chart and release the left mouse button. When I do that I will get a new window where it says that I'm going to put a custom indicator to the chart with details listed here. Now click the OK button and this indicator will be activated on this chart. To use the indicator you need to click one buttons from 1 to 9 on your keyboard. I will put online keyboard so you can see this keyboard easily and what I am pressing on my keyboard so you can see how the time frame will change. When I press the number 1 you will see here the time frame which is visible here in the quick access toolbar in the MT4 it will change from one minute to the monthly time frame and to do that I will click the, uh, the keyboard button 1 just a minute I need to activate the keyboard on MT4 and click right now now when I click the number 1 it changes to time frame to one minute when I press number 2, it will change the time frame to 5 minutes. And when I press the number 3 or 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, the 9 as a monthly time frame, it will change the time frame on your chart. So this indicator allows you to quickly change the time frame between 1 minute up to monthly 
by using the numbers from 1 to 9 on your keyboard. Have in mind that this indicator does not allow you to use the numbers on your numpad keyboard, so use only the main ones that are above on your keyboard. One good thing about this indicator is that when you put some kind of object, for example, I would put this horizontal line, which represents, for example, a resistance or support. When you change the time frame with the keys on your keyboard, for example, I put number 7, which means daily time frame, it will not delete this object, it will remain on the chart. If you have any questions or any proposal how to improve this indicator, leave a comment below the video or contact me over email. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and happy trading!